Well, hello, fellow salarymen, and welcome back. We just finished exploring the Dark Tower for tonight, and, uh... I think it's time for us to return to the dorm. We're done. Every single one of us is too exhausted to continue. Uh. Even if we wanted to make it to the barrier that night? I don't think we could, and we're still tired. It'll be difficult for us to actually go to the tower tonight, in that case, probably. What do you want, creeper? What's up, Jack? Huh? You're all by yourself, huh? Dude, I thought the rumor about you and Yukari-san was true. It is what it is, you weirdo. Oh yeah? Well, it's not like I care or anything. But, you sure had some bad luck since you transferred here. You know, dude, all the weird stuff that's been happening, how everyone's been saying they're hearing strange voices, well, I guess since you're always listening to your headphones, you probably haven't heard anything. Nope. There's a reason I try to block out the, the ghost voices. I've been on enough of these types of cases to know. I know what to expect. Sometimes, guys, you just gotta jam out to this music. Yeah! yeah. There's someone standing in front of our desk. It's the classmate we were talking to earlier this morning. Hey, man. I'm gonna get some ramen after school. You wanna come? Why are you asking me? What makes you think that I like you in any capacity? Even your face twitching makes me want to punch you. No reason, really. I just don't have anything to do later. And I thought we could finish our conversation from this morning. You mean your conversation. So what do you say, man? Let's get some ramen and talk. We accepted their offer. According to Igor, the strength of the social link is the strength of the persona. So, we decided to go with him and use his friendship to strengthen our own battle bonds. It's a valid tactic, I guess. And if we're going to figure this whole thing out, we're going to need to be as strong as we possibly can be. I would Todai Strip Mall, Ramen Shop, Haga Kure, whatever. We're going to call it the Haga. The Hog. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. Well, I was right, or was I right? This ramen tastes great, doesn't it? I bet they put a special ingredient in it, something no other ramen shop uses. It's probably crack. It's probably some sort of secret spice. It's crack. Oh, sorry. My bad. I get all geeked up when I eat here. You know, I actually kind of agree with you, though. This ramen is amazing. You do? Really? I mean, you can appreciate the subtle yet distinct flavor of the soup? Wow. You don't look like the type of guy I'd normally hang around with. But I guess looks aren't everything. Maybe we can take this fledgling... I don't even know what he is. A fledgling D-bag. And fix him up. Turn him into a respectable human being. Over bowls of ramen. By the way, man. I hear you and Yukari are close. Maybe not. Maybe he's hopeless. Damn. Boy, you move fast. I mean, you just transferred here. I can't blame you, though. A man's gotta be aggressive nowadays. Hey. Let's hang out after school again sometime. We'll get some food and I'll tell you about my secret plan. Wait till you hear it, dude. You're gonna flip. Kenji seems to like us. We've become friends. Oh no, it's the ramen social link! A mysterious voice rings in our head. The ramen club has graced thee today. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Magician Arcana. See those hands? They're hovering over a bowl of ramen. That's what the flame symbolizes, the heat. The swirls around the flame are actually the liquid ramen in the bowl. The infinity symbol stands for all-you-can-eat ramen here for $8.99. Anytime after 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Half price on the weekends, though. And we've established a new social link. Sweet. 
We may be able to create a social link by getting to know a person better. When you fuse personas, blah blah blah. Try to discover all the ones that you can. And it's getting dark out. What? It's already nighttime. Damn! I missed my favorite TV show. Man, you're one serious ramen eating dude. Oh well, let's get going. We decided to return to the dorm. And I'm gonna hibernate. After our little journey last night and the ramen tonight. Welcome back. Hey, it's good to be back. Plump, have you been monitoring your condition? Exploring Tartarus can be very tiring. If the exploration becomes too long, you might get exhausted. Just because the next day is an important one doesn't mean you won't still get tired. There's a chance you might not be able to recuperate fully before whatever is going to happen. The other's conditions will vary as well, so make sure you take that into consideration before you begin exploring. If you want my evaluation of everyone's condition, don't hesitate to ask. So those who fight in Tartarus will quickly become tired and may require several days to recuperate. It would be unwise to venture into Tartarus in such a state. Also, there's this, um... Thing here, I think, under status? No, where is it? Yeah, under status you can see my character. He's tired, but... It's not what I was looking for. Calendar, here we go. It's the 22nd. We have a new moon on the 25th. And show a day on the 29th. Then it's Constitution Day, Greenery Day, and Children's Day, three in a row. We've got exams at the end of next month as well. Hmm. Okay. There's various side quests that we can get at some point. Also, I think some of the text in, on these screens is messed up. I'll, I'll try to figure it out and fix it, but it's probably some strange emulator setting. Uh, fusion spells that we can find out. Dictionary is actually kind of useful. The descriptions or the definitions are not incredibly long. I actually was reading through this off screen. Let's see, the contract. It's the contract we signed at the dorm. It says, I chooseth this fate of mine own free will. Which we kind of knew that's what it, what it said since that's what the guy told us. It said, we will be an adult, right? The dark hour occurs every day at midnight. Normal people become transmogrified, and they won't remember anything. And when they get transmogrified, those without potential turn into coffins. One feels nothing in this state. Most of the other ones aren't that important, but here's the Carrijo Group, an international corporation which boasts innovations in many industries. Gekuken High School's sponsor. So... I'm curious, are they paying the agencies to have us here? Because they're obviously tied to her, right? Oh my, you don't look well, are you tired? You should return to your room and rest. Don't push yourself. Uh, we'll be fine. Hey, what's up, Akihiko? If you get knocked down when you're tired, it'll be hard to get back up. And if you don't get up fast enough, you'll become the enemy's main target. Well, I don't really feel like being comboed to death. My persona seems to be good at healing, using skills like Dia. I'm not wearing a nurse's uniform, but you can come to me if you need healing. Yeah, right, a nurse's uniform. <gasps> what, is that funny? You need to be hot to pull off a nurse's uniform, and you're definitely <laughs> not. Why you little? Junpei, keep it up, man. Damn, dude, you can use so many different types of weapons. Everyone else can only use one type of weapon. For me, it's the two-handed sword. That's because real men fight with katanas. With a katana, you can sometimes hit an enemy over and over. And it's super strong. Consider me the main attacker of the team. I'm one bad mother. Although, sometimes I fall down when an enemy dodges my attack. Don't worry about that. Yeah until it happens like five times in a row and you let us all down because then we die I don't think there's anything else we need to do tonight it's almost midnight yeah actually hang on 
I probably can't do this, but I'm gonna try anyways. Because I don't believe I've actually tried it. Can I leave? It's evening, it's not midnight. The dorm entrance. I can go to the town map and stuff. Okay. I can go to the mall or the dorm. That is it. We might as well explore around, right? Hello, young man! Um... Yeah, I do know about them changing. Well, obviously. Duh. It's all over TV. I don't like you. Club Escapade. Let's find out what's going on in here. We can actually get in. Hmm, can I help you? I don't think I've seen you here before. I'm here to party. Nothing's happening nowadays. I guess that's what peace means. How about you? Anything happening in your life? Yeah, man, but you wouldn't believe it even if I told you. I see. Sounds tough. Whatever it is, good luck. I'm gonna keep dancing. Hmm. I feel a strange aura around you. In my mind, I see visions. People's past, present, and future. For most people, I see clearly and far ahead. But you're different. Your future is filled with both blinding light and stagnant shadow. I can see but a small portion. What lies beyond that is shrouded in mystery. What a peculiar fate you carry. Now, young man, bearer of light and shadow, if you wish to know more about the future, come and talk to me. I will share my limited visions with you. Um, yeah, tell me my fortune. Very well. You have pulled fate's trigger. The bullet passes through many, heading directly to its target. What target that may be, however, is unknown to me. You must find that out for yourself. Farewell, then. Okay. I'd buy you, buy you a drink, ma'am, if I could. And the barkeeper says we're too young. But if we don't cause trouble, we can stay. He's just not going to serve us any drinks. See, this is where I should be able to just bust out my real ID. Have a night on the town, but I guess I still have to keep appearances up, right? This place is dead. I've known that girl since we were in elementary school together. She loves fortune-telling stuff. She used to pull out these weird props from her bag. She claimed they were her lucky charms. Do you believe in fortune-telling? Yeah, I do, actually. So you do, too? I don't mean to say it comes true all the time, but sometimes it's just vague enough that it fits and works. But for the sake of this let's play, yes, Jack Plump does believe in fortune tellers. He's seen some shit in his day. A charming flavor that will turn on your charm. No. Be blue. Uh, we could go shopping, but no. We got karaoke up here, huh? I can manage to make it to the stairs. Mandragora. Karaoke. <coughs> that we're definitely not gonna do. The antique store is closed. The pharmacy we don't need to go into. Power Records. I wish we could do something in there. And Game Panic. No. You know, we'll go to the one, I guess... What was it? This one, Chagall Cafe. Turn on your charm. And we'll try the charm. See if it actually does anything. I think it's just a chance to raise your charm. The Palloween Mall, Chagall Cafe. We enjoy a cup of pheromone coffee. We feel people looking at us. Is this an effect of the coffee? Or simply because we sat alone in the center of the room? And our charm has increased. Yay! It's getting late. We decided to go back to the dorm. It probably would have been better for me to spend that money on equipment or something. But whatever. We're tired. And we don't seem to be feeling well. Let's sleep earlier than normal. We pushed it far enough. And I do need rest. It's either rest now or rest in class. 
We're no longer tired because we rested. Good. We pull out our eavesdropping device. Is it just me or have there been more weird people around lately? You're talking about the apathy syndrome, right? My neighbor has that. He grosses me out. Sometimes I think I might have it too and it depresses me. Maybe you just need some exercise. Hey, the athletic teams are accepting new members. Maybe I should join. So today we get to go choose which athletic team we want to be part of. Probably swimming. Because why not? Class has ended for the day. It seems there are certain athletic teams still recruiting. If we can find the appropriate room, we might be able to join. What's up? Hey, what's up? I'm heading home right now. What are you doing? He wants to talk to us. Um. Um. I really need to go join one of these athletic clubs, Kenji. Can it wait? Kenji seems disappointed. I might be able to still come back. I don't know. I hear that some of the athletic teams are recruiting new members. Just the track team, kendo team, and swim team, though. The others are full. Okay. How about you, Kaz? I think this is. And you, Junpei, what are you going to join? This may sound like a weird question, but do you think it's possible to do well in Tartarus and in school? Well, yeah. That's what we're here for. Wow, you're pretty confident. Why don't you prove it? Okay, I will. I'll get straight A's and still climb higher in Tartarus than even you would go, because your body is going to give out like one floor in before we even make it to the second floor, you big weenus. Do you tend to get lost in school? Mm, yes. I want to go to the athletic department. Leave this room and go down the stairs to the right. Then go through the double doors on the right. So basically just hang a right. And I'm not going to talk to everyone. Every single day. It's tempting. Because they do change a lot. My parents always nag to me. No. But not all of them. And I'm not going to be finding out every single day. So right, double doors... And then hang a straighty. Morning, ma'am, or evening, afternoon, whatever it is. And I think we're going to join the swim team. Can you swim like a dolphin? Sure. Let's join the club. I don't really feel like running track. It's way too hot to be doing that shit. Kendo I've already done before. I'm not really interested in wearing a speedo. Maybe we can wear actual swim trunks or something. This is Jack Plump. He'll be joining the team. And this is Yuko, our manager. Hello, I'm Yuko Nishiwaki. Nice to meet you. I think she was... She was the manager for every team we joined. You're a junior, right? Since we're the same year, you can just call me Yuko. She seems nice. Hey, Kazushi! Kazashi! Yes, sir! This is the future captain of this team. He's a great swimmer and scores well in competitions. You two are in the same class, right? Keep an eye on the new guy here, okay? You got it, coach. So you're the guy who went out with the Yuka, uh, Yukari on the first day of school, right? You're practically famous, you know. I'm Kazushi Mayamoto. You've seen me around, right? Yeah, I have. You were the one getting nagged at by your sister or mother. I couldn't tell which. Huh. <laughs> then long story short, from now on, you're mine after school. Just because you joined mid-season, don't think I'll go easy on you. We've made friends with Kaz. We joined the swim team and befriended our new teammates. And got a new social link. So what does the swim team unlock? The way of the dolphin. A persona of the chariot. For the Olympics, sports, games, Athens, Greece, I don't know. I don't know what the symbolism is. You guys tell me. 
since today is your first practice, just have a look around and then call it a day. I'll make sure your uniform is ready for next time, even though it's just a swim cap, goggles, and a speedo. After looking around, we decided to go back to the dorm. Maybe I should have went with Kendo. Sup, dude? Not much. You feeling spunky? Hey, I hear you're friends with Kenji now. You said you're a pretty cool guy. What, are you friends too? Well, sort of. I've known him for a long time, even though we don't usually hang out. He's a good guy. And man, he has no fear when it comes to the ladies. By the way, let's go to Tartarus tonight. I hear the lost are increasing, so we better kick some shadow ass. I happen to agree, so... I'm gonna end the video here, and whenever we come back... We are definitely going to Tartarus. Probably, most likely, anyways. I need to check the calendar because there's a new moon coming up as well. Um, let's check that real quick. So we'll go tonight and probably get tired. We can rest tomorrow night, and then Saturday night on a new moon, we can go there and see what happens. It's also a Saturday night. So yeah, next video, more dungeon exploring.